Uh, this is Nathan with WCI Consulting. The topic today is going to be creating a link in Salesforce to connect to Crystal Reports. And this is going to cover the first step of that with the end game of creating the Salesforce demo link to open a report in Crystal. I'm going to go to here and click on File. All right, the first step is I'll open Crystal Reports and open a blank report. It'll automatically give me the option to connect to any sort of database. I want to create a new connection to Salesforce. As you see, uh, Salesforce is one of the options straight out of the box. Click on Next, then Finish. All right, so first I'm going to go to Crystal Reports, open it up, and click on a blank report. And as you can see, it gives me a list of all the connections or databases I can connect to. As you see, Salesforce is one of the out-of-the-box connections. I'll just hit the plus on uh, Salesforce and then enter my Salesforce username and uh, password and click finish. And sometimes it takes a little while to run here. It didn't take that long. And then from here, I can uh, choose all the tables that I want to bring over to create my report. And I just do the table, clicking the arrow, and once I'm finished uh, with all the tables I'm going to need for the report, I'll just click Finish and then start to build my report. In this case, I've already created the connection and the report, so I'm just canceling out of that. And here's the report. So uh, once I have the report built, I'll just hit Refresh. And then once it's done running, I'll save it to the computer itself as well as to uh, BO Enterprise. So I'll just click Save As, save it to my personal desktop, and save, and then Save As again. So I can save it to SAP. Just enter in your administrator, username, and password. And once your, uh, your SAP business objects is open, just choose where you want to save it. Here it's already been saved, but I'll save it once again. So once it's been saved, that's pretty much the end of step one. So once the report is created and if everything's been saved, one thing that I want to go back and do is save it with a different set of credentials. This way it allows not only myself access to the report through Salesforce, but also any user that may have the same security rights in Salesforce that I do. So how I'm going to set that up is I'm going to refresh the report and then I'm going to put in not only my Salesforce username, username and password, but I'm going to want to add in my security token as well. You can only type in your password here, but you can copy your uh, token. Uh, once that's run, I'm going to save it again to Enterprise in the same spot that I saved the last report. And that's it. So now I'm going to want to go into uh, the, the CMC and log into that. Go to folders where the report is located. And here's my list of reports. This is the one I want to select, but I'm going to go ahead and refresh it just to make sure the uh, last username and password that I used was pulled in. I'm going to right click and choose database configuration. Once this is open, I'm going to want to select uh, when viewing and scheduling the report. I'm going to want to select use same database login as when report is run. Uh, that way it will always use the same username and password. Enter in the same Salesforce credentials along with the security token. And here sometimes what you might find is if you use your personal Salesforce username and password, you may be able to open and run it from Salesforce, but everybody else may not. And just good practice is to create a dummy username and password here uh, within Salesforce. That way everyone, for some reason, will be able to use it. I'm not quite sure why that works, but that seems to be the best, the best practice. And once this is all complete, then you should be good to go into BI Launchpad.